everyone, today I am going to be introducing my new dog called Vinny. So we adopted Vinny a few weeks ago from a dog rescue and I am so excited to share with you his story. So I did make a post on Instagram asking if you could comment some questions down below for a mini Q&A and the Q&A is going to be all about my new dog so I'm just going to be doing that in this video so you can get to know him. So here is Vinny. He is so lovely and just so affectionate and I can't wait to share with you his story. He is just such a lovely dog. So now I am going to start answering all of your questions. The first question is how old is he and did you get him from a rescue centre? So Vinny is between one and four years old. They didn't really know because he came in as a stray and they just didn't really know his age so they guessed around one and four. What is his favourite thing to do? His favourite thing to do is definitely going out for walks. He adores going out for walks, he just loves it so much. Um, so that would have to be his favourite thing. He also loves sitting by the wood burning stove on an evening and that's in our lounge. He just loves to lie next to it and keep warm so yeah he really adores that and he also loves getting attention as probably all dogs do. He just loves it so much and he's so affectionate and so cute and he's sleeping now. Next question is does he like other dogs and how old is he? So I've already answered um, how old he is. Um, he does, I think he wants to play with other dogs. It's hard to tell if he really likes them or not. It just depends on each dog's individual personality and I guess it's like us humans, like we're not going to be best friends with everyone. So he, I think he does like other dogs and on our walks you can tell he definitely wants to like play with them and he does seem quite keen and interested so I would say he does like other dogs um, but he's never really played with another dog properly yet so I'm not too sure but so far it seems like he does like other dogs. What is his favourite toy? His favourite toy is... well he doesn't really have many toys Um we haven't had him for that long so we haven't really got to that many toys um, he definitely likes this toy which he's sleeping on right now which is like a little rope thing with a ball on the end of it and um, we got him another toy today which was like this little squeaking toy thing and he already pulled the squeaker out of it and chewed it all to shreds so he definitely liked that one did you choose his name and if you did why did you choose it? no we didn't choose his name the rescue actually gave him the name Vinny and basically um, the people at the rescue always had arguments over what they should call the dogs and they just decided to use this name generator so they didn't have to like argue over the names of the dogs so that's what they did and it came up with Vinny so that's how they got the name for him Is this your first dog? No, this is not really my first dog well it kind of is for me in a way um, but we had dogs when I was very little and they were two corgis. I don't remember them at all really, um, so that doesn't really count I guess. So he kind of is my first dog. Does he like the guinea pigs? Well, he has never had the opportunity to be near the guinea pigs, so I would say no. Um, he is never going to be like in contact with the guinea pigs. I think it's just too much of a risk and I wouldn't want anything bad to happen, so I don't know. Where is he from? Vinny is from a dog rescue called Mount Pleasant Kennels and it was a really great experience there. We did go look around um, a different dog rescue before we went to that rescue but it wasn't really as much of a good experience and we didn't decide to get a dog from them. So yeah, it was definitely a much better experience at Mount Pleasant Kennels and they were just very kind and I was definitely glad that we went there. Does he chase Jasper? I imagine so, yes. He hasn't actually, like, he's not really living with the cat at the moment. Like, he has um, this room and he also um, gets to go in the kitchen as well, like, all the time. Um, but currently we are trying to introduce them slowly because I know if you do it too fast um, it can probably end up quite bad so um, we are trying to do it quite slowly just so we don't stress either of them out too much um, 
but I think he maybe would chase Jasper. There has been some times where we accidentally opened some doors and they have met and he just went mad and started barking loads and Jasper was like, oh my gosh. So yeah, I think he would chase Jasper um, if he had the chance to. How long was the process of deciding you wanted a dog, getting him and buying his things, etc? Well, we went to the dog kennel and um, we saw a picture of Vinny on the website and we read his description and the description just seemed to fit and it just seemed like right for us. So we went to see him and then I think we just like fell in love with him straight away and we knew he was right for us. And um, they didn't need to come to our house to look around for anything. They just like basically said, you can come tomorrow and pick him up. And it was like, whoa, we are coming tomorrow. I was like so shocked. I thought it'd be like ages before we could get him. So the day we found out that we were getting Vinny, we had to basically do a trolley dash around pets at home to get all the essential items like food bowls, collars, leads, harnesses, toys, food, everything like that. Um, and we hadn't had a dog in ages so it was really difficult deciding what to buy because there are so many different products out there but yeah I think that's what took the longest really just buying everything um, so it was a very quick process other than buying all the items I think it went really fast and I didn't expect to be getting him the next day after we first met him so I would say it was quite a quick process what breed is he? We don't know exactly, but we think he is a Jack Russell crossed with a Collie and he definitely is Jack Russell, but we think he's Collie because of his tail and also like the way he acts, he just seems like a Collie, so we think he is crossed between them two. How did you persuade your parents? Well, I didn't have to persuade my parents because it was my mum who wanted the dog. Um, obviously I wanted him too, but like my mum was the one who was like, oh I really want a dog. Um, so yeah, I didn't have to persuade them luckily. If he was from a rescue, what is his past? We don't know anything about his past because he was a stray, so we don't really know. Um, it could have been anything really, but I imagine that he wasn't too great because obviously if he was let out, then it would seem that the owners didn't really want him. So. Um, I don't think it was a great pass, but I don't know. Have you already bonded with him and if so, how strong do you think the bond is? I've definitely bonded with him and I think he will bond with anyone um, that is nice to him. He is so loving. Um, I don't know how strong the bond is. Um, I think like the longer you own them for, the stronger your bond is. So I guess it will get stronger. What attracted you to him? Just his adorable face, um, the way he was so affectionate. Um, at another dog rescue that we went to, um, we had this dog in mind and we went to see him. He came out of his like kennel thing and um, he just basically blanked us. He didn't care that we were there. He just got a bit too like carried away. I don't think he was really interested in us at all, which is not a good sign when you... Um, you know, you're looking for a dog, um, you want one that will be interested in you and like really like love the attention but that dog just did not care, he just kind of walked out of his kennel like who are they? And he didn't really care. Um, but what attracted us to Vinny was that when he came out of his kennel he was like so excited to see us, he was just really lovely and you could tell he was such a friendly dog so I think that was the main thing and also that like, was so cute. Has he settled into your home well? Yes he settled in really well pretty much from day one he was settled in he definitely just kind of got used to us straight away which was really great. Is he hyper or calm? Well he can be both right now he's calm he's sleeping on his blanket like a little baby um, when he sees something moving he'll just go crazy. How is he on walks? Does he pull? Can he be let off? And where is his favourite place to walk? He is good on walks. He doesn't seem to pull. He goes at a fast pace but like it doesn't seem to like pull much. We have him on an extending lead so... Oh, what's wrong? Oh Vinny, what are you doing? 
yeah, we have him on an extending lead, so it doesn't really like feel like he's pulling, and I think he's really good. He doesn't like, you know, pull us along, but he goes at a good pace. Um, can he build it off? Definitely not. Um, he can go out in our garden because we've like secured it now, um, but he is not allowed off anywhere else because um, we just can't really trust him to come back to us yet. I don't think he. Um, we're not like 100% convinced that he would come back, so we would not risk that as of yet. I'm not sure about the future. We may always keep him on a lead. What dog food is he on? When we first got him, he was on this dry food um, that the rescue had, and that was giving him a lot of tummy problems and like tummy upsets. Um, so we changed that over to a more natural diet, and my mum did some research. So she's now feeding him um, all natural foods like meat, vegetables, um, scrambled eggs, rice and a variety of different things like that. So he's getting like different meals each day um, and we just think that's much better for him and a much healthier um, diet. How often do you walk him? We walk him three times a day. Um, my mum walks him first thing on the morning before I get up. I walk him when I come home from school and then we take him out for a longer walk after we've had tea so he gets about three walks each day